part of your plans and uh, do you think that's in any way helpful for people who want to start their own companies? Yeah, so um, to the first thing, yes, MBA is uh, still a part of my plan. It's something I think that probably has a 50% chance of actually happening in the end. Uh, so I really much like the idea of, for example, going to the US and studying, uh, doing an MBA for one or two years, just getting out of the routine and getting to know very ambitious people um, and, uh, you know, building, building relationships. Um, I would, I would, that's my ideal and that's in my humble opinion, I would never do a master's degree, so I would always do a bachelor and then do an MBA, you know, like work for one or two years, maybe three or four years and then do your MBA. Um, and, uh, but, but that's fr coming from me as a business administration graduate. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, if it, if it fits into my uh, life, like f I don't see it for the next happening for the next two years, but uh, I could imagine doing that and w it would be great fun. I see big value in it. Um, for starting your own company, it can also be helpful because if you go to the right universities, I mean, Stanford, uh, it's like a breeding ground for nice startups. So you like get to know the right people. And uh, as we discussed at the beginning, starting your company is always about having the right people, having a brilliant founder team. So if you make the most out of your time and you know, you're in Stanford and you not just go to the beach every day and like get a tan, but you actually do the networking and put in the work to get to know the right people, work on your ideas, already start during your MBA, that can be brilliant, can be a good, um, good way to get into it and build very big ideas in my opinion. Okay. Any last questions? Okay. Um, thank you so much for your time and for all your insights. I think it was very valuable to everyone who attended. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>